when I was little, I would look in our big bathroom mirror and I would loathe the body that I saw. I had a list of reasons, a list of things I would change about it that I wish was different. I got made fun of, all that jazz. And now years have passed. I've learned a few things. When I look in our little RV mirror, because I live in an RV full time, I love the body that I see. My appreciation for my body truly began the summer before my senior year in high school. I played soccer and I tore my ACL in a preseason game. You need your ACL, it's, in, it's a ligament in your knee to stabilize your knee. Without it, you can't pivot. Actually tearing it didn't hurt, it was painless. But the six months of recovery, that's where the pain was. I walked into that torture chamber, the physical therapist, office for my first time and we had two goals. One was let's get your strength back because my muscle would continue to atrophy with lack of use. I was on crutches for many, many weeks. I couldn't even move my leg for a time. My mom literally had to lift my leg up and put it down. She had to bathe me. She had to dress me. So we want to do that. Also, we want to gain my range of motion back because at that time I could bend it about that much and that hurt so bad. And we wanted to get it to bend all the way. So I remember my physical therapist starting to bend my knee for the first time. The pain blew through my head. The pain was so tortuous. Whatever word you want to describe for that, it was horrible. I grit my teeth and I closed my eyes and I remembered the poster that my mom made for me. I read every day a little stronger, curtly, and every day a little better. That was the phrase that she used during a difficult time in her life when she knew if she showed up and she hung on that it would get better. I knew that life, if we do what's easy now in life, then life will be hard. If we do what's hard now, life will be easy. So I showed up. I wanted stronger legs. I wanted to run again. I wanted to walk again. I didn't get to play much that soccer season, but by the end of the season, because of my choices to show up, I was called pretzel legs because I was the only one on the team that could do a one-legged squat, touch my rear into the ground and bounce back up. And that was on my injured leg. It was amazing to watch my body heal. And it was inspiring to watch because of my choices to work hard, I became stronger than I was before. Hard work pays off in the future. Laziness pays off now. I carry an acute gratitude and reverence for my body now. Our bodies are impossibly intricate. They are the most complex system in the known universe. More complex than the planets above us, than the stars above us. They're not conscious. We are. We have the power to make choices. Despite how astonishingly elaborate our bodies are, taking care of them is so simple. Choose to nourish your body. Think about anything you want in life, your career, how you want to be better in your career. You're being a parent. Do you want to be more engaged and involved? Do you want more wealth and security in your life? Having a healthy body will only help you and enable and empower you to have greater success in any area. But you have to understand that you must take time taking care of your body. But currently, I'm too busy. I don't have time. Well, guess who else is too busy to care? Diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, 
stroke, heart attack, death. If you don't make time for wellness now, you will be forced to make time for illness later. So what are you going to choose? Finally, people are living longer lives, but it doesn't mean healthier lives. For some, it means extending the amount of time that they're out of breath, taking medication, stiff, immobile, bloated, and miserable. Do you want to be remembered as the friend or the grandparent that sat at home while everyone else was on a hike enjoying nature? Or do you want to be remembered in their memories? What are you waiting for? You are the one in charge. What a privilege we have to be the keepers of a real living human body. Don't take that privilege for granted. I hope when you look in the mirror, you see your body and you say, thank you. I will show up for you and I will take care of you.